So 78% of Indian community builders are hosting at least one event every month. The event topic is is the most critical thing as per uh, at least the Indian community builders. Uh, low registration, of course, is a big problem, especially if you don't have enough budget or enough social media clout. My recommendation is. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is this is the fifth roundtable, uh, and uh, just to sort of uh, plug uh, the other venture that I that I do, which is uh, Like Minds. So Like Minds is is essentially a community infra platform where we help uh, mobile first brands to have uh, you know to launch in app community features within within a few minutes. And uh, currently, Community Hood is also powered by Like Minds. and uh, yeah so without without taking a lot of time further i would love to start this uh, uh today we have eight volunteers uh, who are going to be uh, helping us navigate different round tables i'll introduce them but before that you know i'll i'll take liberty to to share my screen and uh, you know share some of the learnings that we've had uh, you know in terms of building the community and building the uh, you know uh, the sort of doing the event so far would love to share what goes behind at least our planning and how how we think about these events uh, how we plan these events and then would love to open up the floor for everyone to contribute and give their feedback so yeah uh, today's topic is how to plan virtual events for your community and uh, you know uh, we are not going to talk a lot around how do you decide the formats how do you decide the tools because we had already like the previous round table uh, previous like last to last round table was on that if you missed it out there is still video uh, uploaded on youtube and uh, you know uh, in in the community as well of course you can look at it uh, so you know uh, before i move towards planning uh, you know what goes behind planning into a round table uh, or any event at community hood i want to share few things from uh the community industry uh, report that we had created last year state of indian community management report so uh, you know these these are some of the stats from it uh, so 78% of indian community builders are hosting at least one event every month so hosting uh, virtual events is is now becoming very very common and this is last year data and i am sure today this has gone gone up uh, from 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 there then 76% of community builders state that their event participants are actually experiencing webinar fatigue so because these events are increasing you have to innovate to things you have to make them uh, you know uh, something that people find value for uh, so so every event is a request for time uh, that's how uh, you know uh, we should generally look at while conducting any event and the the amount of time that everyone is spending in the event they should take away something from the event that i feel is a very very important philosophy that uh, at least we like to follow and would would see if a lot of you are, might also be following it now the one of the biggest challenge that people face uh, in 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 uh, you know conducting these virtual events is retaining participants uh, throughout the event and that has been marked as by as a challenge 23% uh, times by by the community builders who had participated in the report the report was uh, you know done uh, with participation with 180 community builders uh, then uh, you know the top 3 sort of metrics for success that people had indicated in in events were uh, the the participant interaction the turnout and the returning participants in 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 an event so how many people are coming back uh, you know same people are coming back in each event that shows the belonging uh, which which is one big reason why people want to do uh, you know events uh, the top 3 attractions for any event uh, came out to be event topic uh, event content and the speakers so event topic becomes very very important uh, at least that's what uh, other community builders have been talking about so if you see this you know these are the things that goes uh, behind planning our uh, one of the event so we do this town hall where we invite you know someone who has done well in the community space uh, and and try to understand from their journey and try to take out learnings from their journey now uh, so in in that what we do is we start with uh, you know uh, finalization of the speaker uh and the target for us is we should finalize the speaker at least 40 days before uh 
uh, the date of the event uh, so once we do that then we try to finalize the event date and time and we try to keep at least 35 days uh, you know between uh, you know the the date being finalized and uh, you know the actual date and then uh, you know we take confirmation on the content and the schedule that will go into the event uh, we so we take about 2 3 days to do that and uh, our, our goal is 32 days before the event this should be finalized about a month uh, you know uh, and i'll tell you why this figure how this figure has come so our goal is you know uh, once the event is uh, like once the uh, bio and everything uh, else we get from the speaker we create a landing page to promote it on social media and we have a very very clear sort of learning that the longer you promote and we also run ads uh, on on some of the events so the longer uh, you know uh, you run ads on on social media uh, you get enough time to learn from analytics on what campaigns are working better what ad sets are working better what targeting is working better so we give we try to give at least a month to our marketing team to promote these events and that's why this is sort of back calculation towards that to to come up to these steps then uh, what we do is we you know we create ad creatives then we go live with with the ads uh, then you know we create uh, the event on the community hood platform to uh, you know to make everyone in the community aware about the event and take registrations from the community so so far everything was focused on outside the community members this is focused on existing community members then we you know like finalize the exact flow of event and send the flow of the event uh, you know at at exact level uh, at least 2 weeks before the event then at least one week before the event we try to do a dry run uh, where we discuss the whole flow with the with the host and uh, with the, with the speaker uh, and uh, you know we we understand their journey we try to change the questions and the flow if if something interesting comes up in that discussion uh then uh, you know at least 5 days before the event we try to send an email uh, about the event uh then uh, you know again on the same day uh, the announcement goes on social media organic channels you know linkedin twitter uh then we send uh, you know we start sharing calendar invites with people depending on how many people we want uh and we filter out people as well in few cases but in in, in town hall we send it to everyone uh then you know we send another reminder uh actually sometimes we send two reminders on calendars uh the final reminder is of course on the day of the event day 0 is the day of the event so so far whatever was here till till this row was pre pre event marketing here during the on the day of the event this is also pre event but on the day of the event uh we send a calend final calendar reminder we also send a whatsapp reminder uh both to our existing members of the community as well as the people who have shown interest so that you know people also get easy access to the link then uh during the event the first thing is checking zoom settings creating a waiting room uh you know coordinating with panelist or the the uh, speaker to be on time then the actual event happens uh you know so there is a whole lot of uh best practices during the event as well but we've not right now covered in 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 a huge detail because uh that varies a lot from event to event uh would love to see if if today in the round tables people can also find uh you know a, a lot of detailing around it but it will depend on the format so for for the sake of today's discussion i kept it uh, lesser right now uh then post event also you can do a lot of things like you know creating a poll on the platform within the community and take feedback from the members uh post it on linkedin about how the event went maybe share some learnings with with the uh, you know with the people on social media uh we also create a blog out of the event then we also create a youtube video of the, out of the event so some of those steps we have not written here but this can also be a long list of steps the idea right now what i wanted to show was how you can identify different steps that go into the planning of an event and then assign a timeline to it and even more important especially if you are you know if you are a if you have a multi member uh, team uh, you know uh, then 
try to be sure of also assigning ownership on what team uh, or who in, in in a specific team will be responsible for this specific step so for example finalization of speaker is akshita who is who is part of the community team so all these are community teams res- responsibility but here if you see hardik hardik is part of our marketing team so marketing team's responsibility is very clearly laid out then again community team uh, you know uh, content team uh, so different teams and different individuals should be very clearly demarcated what we have learned over time is if you do this this helps a lot in terms of removing uh, uncertainties and like you can always iterate a lot uh, if you are planning any event in advance so that's exactly what we are going to talk about today in in different round tables but before that i, I and you know I'll, i'll be very very quick in sharing some of these things because i know a lot of us already know this but just for the sake of uh, you know a uh, few people who may not be following something like this uh you know i uh, the, these are some of the stages that generally work for any event uh the, the first stage is research and goal setting why you want to conduct an event and like even before that what is it that you want to achieve from an event on a broad company strategy perspective and then for each event there could be different objectives uh you know so so for example whether whether the objective is to increase the new member acquisition uh whether the objective is to increase the uh, you know engagement in the community so you should have uh, you know these uh, tactical objectives for for each event uh or at least each event format so what we have done at community community hood is we have actually created different formats of events using this philosophy and now we don't need to work on these two things every time when we do an event we know let's say if it's a round table then the main goal is to have deeper community engagement uh more than member acquisition uh, as as the core uh, you know business objective so we don't need to think of it every time now because the series of event is defined so this is where we generally start our journey for a defined event format now so we have to curate an event we have to do branding of the event and attract attendees and then we have to do a lot of coordination and uh, you know planning and this is also something that you should do that just evaluate everything uh, how it's going and uh, just just see from that perspective as well so very quickly you know research setting is is uh, there are various framework this is one framework which which we've been uh, you know at least trying to follow it's it's called smart uh, so you know be very specific in terms of your goal setting make it measurable make it attainable so don't set goals which you cannot achieve try to keep it uh, achievable keep it relevant uh, from the larger perspective uh, and keep them time based so always have a timeline to 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 the goal that you are setting then uh, comes event objective like i was saying you know you could have uh, different objectives like community engagement uh, member acquisition value delivery so for example if your if your event is part of a course then it's primarily delivering the best value for your members uh then some event might also be upselling a uh, certain course or or you know something that you are doing in your in your community based on these you can then come up with format so whether uh, an open discussion event like this whether it should be an interview like maybe a town hall or a panel discussion whether it should be an informal get together or a networking kind of event where there is no agenda whether it should be a training session or a workshop for people to to you know to really uh, either upsell something or deliver a value so once you have your objective clear the formats will flow naturally then for curating the event and some of this we actually covered in the in the previous round table so if you missed that feel free to you know check out the the video for that as well uh, but just summarizing that uh, you know you you should define the event format choose the platform uh, and and choose some of these parameters around how many speakers you want how many number of attendees you are targeting whether attendees can speak or not participate or not uh, do you want to create a slide or video that needs to be presented uh, do you need the participants to interact with each other or not so for example in today's event we specifically want participants to interact with each other that's the format that we have decided with uh, then uh, what all need to be done on post event uh, you know to think about all these things and then in terms of event branding 
like you know the the first slide that i showed the event topic is is the most critical thing as per uh, at least the indian community builders so it's very very important to have a catchy name to your event and from my experience having a how to works best if you are a learning community that shows very clearly what value is 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 get, like is is expected from from the event uh create a website or a landing page there are a lot of landing page tools out there uh so use some of them uh, we use webflow for our our events right now uh market your events if 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 you have the budget and if you want to achieve a larger scale feel free like don't don't shy away from running paid campaigns uh, uh you know uh, over time uh, uh you can optimize those campaigns really well uh Uh, you know you can do of course organic social media promotions run email campaigns some of this i've already covered uh, so i'll i'll quickly skip this uh, uh coordination you know create a checklist like i was showing you uh, you know define responsibilities choose the host and guest finalize date and time all this needs to be done evaluating the plan you know making sure everything is working fine uh, have a dry run check all the capabilities of the tool you know make sure the uh, you know the reminders have worked uh, you know like always have someone uh, as part of the community team as well you know so as one of the recipients of those reminders when you're sending them so that you can check whether the you know the the content has gone fine or the reminders have gone fine and uh, make sure you know if 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 you have someone in your team uh, don't host these events alone have someone uh, you know take questions from the participants as well so this was uh, the checklist uh, i have already shown to you now uh, some of the goof ups that happen in the events uh, so try to uh, make sure that you see that you are not going to uh, make a goof up on all these things uh, in the in the event that you conduct so uh, you know be sure that the platform is well tested the device that you are using is well tested uh, the internet that you have is well tested uh make sure you know you 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 don't have a uh, low turnout a lot of times that happens and uh, a way to do that is you know to continuously do it figure out what percentage of people who who say yes turn out eventually so we've seen that a uh, number of people who who say yes on our calendar invites 70% of them actually uh, turn up in our events so that's why we are we've been very like fairly precise in terms of predicting how many people are going to attend our event so that is also something that you you should try to learn uh you know uh, low registration of course is a big problem especially if you don't have enough budget or enough social media clout my recommendation is either like don't host events unless you have guarantee of at least at least you know uh, and again depending on the format so don't host a town hall if you don't have a guarantee that you will at least get 30 40 people in your event or at least 20 people in your, in your event uh but uh, you can always host a small round table with even 6 7 people just to catch up and have a deeper discussion on a topic so try to predict how many resources you have and how many people you will be able to get in the event uh be prepared for last minute speaker cancellations in in different events make sure if it's a single speaker event and if it's a well marketed event try to block their calendar in advance have multiple conversations with them about the event keep them informed that okay this many people have already registered so that they also feel for it they also make sure that they don't make any other plans beforehand uh audience getting bored is also a very big problem uh, like i said uh, you know this was one of the biggest ch- challenge that was mentioned by indian community builders uh, so so make sure you don't talk about things which are not relevant or things which are not entertaining in your events uh so people come for either like learning uh, or entertainment so keep keep a healthy mix of both we as 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 a community we are little heavier on the learning side uh then uh, audience not sh- doing any response or questions is again something that you need to be very of and time zone mismatch sometimes uh, you send invites with with the time zone not written on it try to use tools which which are t- time zone uh friendly by by design so for example google calendar is is time zone uh uh sensitive like you don't need to do it by yourself google does it for you few last minute tips uh like i said internet connection should be there 
make sure there are few pre slides so like what i did today was the data from the community industry report to sort of warm up everyone who is here uh try to make people uh, switch on their camera it helps them uh, to be more focused so the format today is is very sort of camera uh friendly you have to like uh, on your camera once you go into the round tables else it's borderline being rude to the other people in the round table uh keep reminding people to participate you know make some pictorial you know pictorial and visual uh things uh, added in your ppts uh, so that it it grabs some attention uh 